It was so good. We didn't even get a bad shot selection. Clearly indicated it was a good shot it selection. It was a good shot. There we go. That was good defense. Just let him shoot and then he misses. That's the defense we need to be playing. Nice shot. What was Moron. that? Stops until he's in front of him. He's like, I'm going to put him up. Jeez! <laughs> Somebody ignored your call for a pass. It said on the they top. ignore me all the time. Yeah, they're a bunch of cucks. Oh, they did it again. There's no respect. All right, come on. Hit me. Come on. I'm open. There's Freak. Here's Frank. Bad shot. There it is. I should get an assist for that. Somehow we are winning this game. <laughs> huh? <laughs> we have a deep loss that are shooting We're on the cloud leaders, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is right. your defense, boys? All right. All right. All right. Athletic nice. shooting foul. We need somebody to come in here from the grassy knoll and just bang. LeBron right in the shin. It'll be fine, though. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a career render. Just get him out for the game. Shave your pits, dude. <laughs> that guy is that a is gnarly. Gross. What is going on That's out Anderson there? Anderson Varejo, and he's a stinky-looking boy. Shave your pits. He looks like a guy that used to play high school hockey with uh, at our at our school. Yeah, he, does. he actually does. Yeah, he does actually. Yeah, if you're gonna be showing those things off, you gotta trim them. <laughs> just like even take a little pair of scissors and just make them a little shorter. Just clean it up a bit. Yeah, I agree. Pokemon oh, Stucky. Anyone pass? Excessive call for pass? What do you mean? You're like hey, hey, hey. Oh, all you. You're open. I let it go too early. I'm not getting the timing. Dang. The timing is different now. It really is. It's different now. I think it's because I'm playing against pros. Might be. Might be. Do you think I'm full of shit? Yeah. No, I think it, it can make a difference, baby. The game is a little bit different as compared to college. Alright, there you go. Why do we grow hair in our armpits? Uh, to keep warm. Yeah, but my armpits are already warm. <laughs> I didn't turn it over! <laughs> It wasn't me! Here you take it. I didn't even think that you were in the paint for three seconds. That's so messed up. Oh, and now LeBron's coming out the court. Excellent. Oh, this sucks. It's like, oh, this guy's in a D? Let's, uh... Let's get him out of the league. <laughs> Can you do so bad you fail out of the league? Uh... Or no? I think he might be able to in the beginning. Really? In this game or a different game? <laughs> Imagine we play so bad that Colin Forsex gets, <laughs> gets ejected in the league. Excommunicated from the NBA. And the game's over and you have to restart. But you know what? We're still probably making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, right no. Now. You know that, right? Yeah. What did you do that for? I, I thought LeBron needed a win. <laughs> Don't you need another ring? <laughs> I'm just here to help, pal. I'm a huge LeBron fan. <laughs> yeah, just, the, the ability to throw the game for him was a dream. You could tell he oh! It's everything I ever wanted. We are, Coach is not putting this in the fourth quarter. There's no chance. We are a detriment to our team's success. This is so sad. Wait, we're back? It's not like because your team would win without you anyway. They're all bad. <laughs> Wait, they put us in a crunch time. We're up by three with a minute left. And like, get Colin out there right now. No, not James! We got a nice rebound. That doesn't look like LeBron, by the way, from the back. No, it does not. Wait, do you have a lot of experience in the like, back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm God, constantly looking there. <laughs> that does not so look like got, my LeBron. So we got a bit of a train going. I'm looking Shoot. at his. I'm looking at his ass. He's looking at China's ass. <laughs> oh, we passed Come the right on. guy. Oh, oh God! You should have taken that shot for yourself. We just gotta get to a D plus. Oh no, 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 no! Come on! Oh, dude, that was good. That was good. Oh, good, good shot. shot. Defense. Okay, good shot, defense. We should get to a D plus. Okay, okay, distract him. Yeah, you like that? People think you're a show for China. Go! Hey, you hey. look stinky with that mustache. Hey, why, why can't we distract him? The Space Jam was an maybe mediocre at best film. The second one? Yeah. Nah, not even that. It was really bad. Not good. I'm not that... I, I couldn't really give it to him, sorry. Everyone thinks you're a bad actor. <laughs> That's true, they do. Oh, oh, come no, on. It wasn't bad shot selection, though. I thought it was open, man. It was fine. Is he married? Who, LeBron? LeBron? Yeah. yeah. Isn't he? Yeah. Your wife's cheating on you! <laughs> I'm here! 
with me! She's she's in the back room. Did you say she's gay? No, no. Wait, no. Uh, your wife is cheating on you. She's gay. No, I. With me. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> Shit. Call yourself a woman. I meant like she's in the back, like waiting for our character to get back there and take care no, of her. No, Yvonne and her are like. <laughs> right now, dude, they're exploring the old. Uh, the old roast beef curtains. You know? Ew. <laughs> they're uh, the two of them. There, they're taking the they're taking the toilet plunge. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, they're getting the old litter box going. The old I, rusty nails. I, the old I, strawberry shortcake. Nobody knows what you're talking about. The Alaska pipeline, if you will. Tino's. Tino's. Know. Five seconds. <laughs> All right. We're now done by one. We joined the game and now we're losing. Shoot, 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 shoot! You got it, you got it, you got it, got no, it! I got Free, free Yvonne's pussy! <laughs> oh no, what happened? <laughs> this is good. What did you just sucker punch him in the back of the head? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Where are they letting this guy shoot? <laughs> and he missed it! You gotta make one to tie it up, please! Come on, just we make would one be shot! Able to Oh, okay, thank we're tied. God. They're gonna take us out. There's no way they let, let us stay in the game. We just cost them the entire game. We didn't do anything wrong. No, I agree. We only have four points, though. Yeah, we're not really helping. No. no. All of your teammates are judging you right now. Yeah, I don't really oh. like it. <laughs> We're back out there. Come here, coach. Really? Man, they, they, are, Kyrie? They, they, are kind, they are kind to you in this game. <laughs> we freak, we know you're fucking up, but we have absolute faith in you. <laughs> coach, I don't. Don't put me out there, coach. Go guard LeBron James coach, for us. Don't put me out there, please. <laughs> Alright, freak, we're gonna have you on Kyrie and LeBron at the same oh time. Do not leave your position. This is not Make sure you win us this game, dude. Oh no. It's on us. Oh, that was such good, good defense. defense. Oh, good. Why is the crowd going nuts? They're like, yes! Yeah, we tied! <laughs> oh, that was Now we go into overtime and we're not going to play. <clears throat> wait, wait, let's watch the cheerleaders. Why up. did you skip oh, that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was ridiculous. I, I, I want to feel good about it. cheerleaders house. are on, I want to watch. Okay? <laughs> I got you, 10-4. Okay, good. We're in! Sub in. We're up by 11? No one wants to see these sweaty dudes you're playing this game for. Shoot, 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 for Yvonne! So for Yvonne, Yvonne. she's going to let you go down on her. They should do cheerleaders. She will? Later. She's gonna go down on you. Hill, please. She's gonna let you go down on Freak's mom. Oh. <laughs> oh, bad shot selection. I threw you off there. She's gonna let you go down on Freak's dad? Oh! Oh, and you did it! Go, block the shot! I told you, that's that was We're gonna it. We're to a C. Good pass. Oh, he was that too sucks. slow. Too slow. Okay, we got back up to a D plus. That was a goal. Yeah. We just didn't get an F. Yeah, let's see. I, like, I want to go back to our, our personal hell and see if we can upgrade our character. Do you, uh, you want to do one more game? Yeah. It's 6.30, I think. Oh, it's 6.30 right now? Yeah, what let's, do you think? Well, let's see if we can do any upgrades. Yeah, let's why don't see. you look at your, why don't you look at your, uh, phone? Oh, 6.30? Yeah, I should get back. Okay. Get back. Let's skip this. Let's skip this. It's moving along. This was bad. Jeepers. This was really bad. It was all too small. Clearly. Um, is there, there going to be anything else here? No? No? Can we have an interview? One interview would be cool. Nobody wants to talk to you. Can I, <laughs> can I go to my... Um, this might be the worst basketball player we've ever seen in our life. How did he get pros? How is this guy making hundred thousand dollars right now? Well, if we could just get some upgrades, we'd be better. I agree. You know? They're Wait, gonna lower you to eight. Is this okay. Dom Pagnotti? Who is this? He's disappointed in us. He's got a really bad bald spot. Yeah, he does. What a life, eh, freak? One minute you're playing twenty-one and horse on the courts in Harlem, and the next moment you're in the showroom configuring the gunmetal and graphite exterior of your luxury car and your iPad Mini. <laughs> Oh, I bet you get a crazy crowd when you drive that car around the block in the old neighborhood, huh? Yeah, living the dream. <laughs> Mad pandemonium. But folks from back around the way are real proud of me. Yeah, I hear you. Local kid makes good. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of reminds me of when I took my tech stock public and I rang the Oh, here we go. Mom's friends called her up and said, Maggie, is that your son on Bloomberg News this morning ringing the bell? And my mom says... Yes, sir, Bob, it was him. That was a great moment, Freak. 
And you know, our lives are like a pearl necklace of great moments, all strung together with the finest silk thread of memories. And we have to be very careful how we cultivate those pearls and we thread that necklace. He's threatening us. I don't think he's looking at me at all. I grew up in the burbs, freak. I wasn't poor, upper middle class, comfortable. My daddy worked as an accountant for one of the largest insurance firms in the country. Smart with his money. Mom didn't have to work. I went to boarding school. And then my dad died of a heart attack when I was a freshman at MIT. I was a movie geek, wanted to be a civil engineer, but I made my fortune by becoming a hybrid of both those interests. My dad didn't want me to be an accountant. <laughs> oh, listen to this. My best friend was a guy named Isidore. <laughs> yeah, we called him Izzy. He was one of what the is artists. What is this story about? Why was that funny, by the what, way? What's the point we're getting at? And why do I feel like I'm being threatened? I know. <laughs> I really do. And his mouth is freaking me out. Student full ride to MIT, Izzy had the world at his fingertips. But he was always looking for trouble, and trouble found him. He ran with the wrong crowd. And when we got to MIT, he got this great job working for a financial consulting firm in Boston. Mm -hmm. But every weekend, he would pew, fly to Vegas. <laughs> you see, Izzy had a system for counting cards in Vegas that had the big casinos on the strip. Oh, it's diamond. He would come back to MIT with suitcases filled with $200,000 in cold cash. What? Yeah. So your man Izzy was getting hit off like that? Like a fat rat in a cheddar cheese factory, freak. <sighs> OK, so what happened to this dude Izzy? Because he's dope. <laughs> no, not dope. Dead. We're getting threatened, dude. <laughs> I killed him. And if you hang out with... <laughs> with Vic, I'm going to kill you. And our friendship took a hit when he asked me to hang out with him in Vegas. And I said I wouldn't do it. Because I knew he was on a dark and twisted path in his life. And yes, yes, he was my dude. But no way was I going to throw my life away trying to show my loyalty to a guy who really and truly didn't understand what loyalty was all about. So, so I is. killed him. He's dead and they will <laughs> never find him. And if you and Vic don't back off, one of you will end up in the ground just like Izzy. And guess what? Vic, he ain't making me money. Oh, well, we had to look over our shoulder every two seconds to make sure nobody was going to walk up on us and rob us. True. Izzy and I did not grow up in the hood, but we... Oh! That sounds isn't racist. That racist? <laughs> yeah. But even that wasn't enough for Izzy. He wasn't satisfied. He was always looking for a five-alarm fire when he already had the warmth and comfort of a loving family. This is not about class warfare, freak. This is about the consequences of making bad choices and risking it all when you feel like you have nothing to lose. Vic is like a brother to me, sir. But you shouldn't be brother Vic's keeper, freak. Would a brother go looking for trouble and put your career and your livelihood at risk by getting into fights at nightclubs and seedy after-hour joints and then scream to the media, yeah, it's all good, I'm an F.O.F., friend of freak. It's all misunderstanding. Y'all be haters, don't hate my game. <laughs> so that's what he does. Also, that's a racist way to mock, to mock Vic. Yeah. Hey, I'm black. Look at me, I'm black. <laughs> It's like, okay, uh, you gotta stop. <laughs> yeah. You're being racist now. Look, man, it was a misunderstanding with the guy in the next VIP people. His honey started flirting with me. So naturally, I started flirting back. Next thing I know, Captain Cornball's off my grill piece. Beefing next thing he know. He got a two piece and a biscuit on his left eye. <laughs> hey, nah, nah, I, I don't know who hit him. And he damn sure wasn't me. <laughs> hey, Captain Cornball's mad because I'm an F O F friend of freak. <laughs> hey, well, check this out though. He needs to train that hottie before he leave the house though. <laughs> Y'all, he's. He's hot as ain't loyal, man. 
What's there to understand? Are you freaking blind? You know, I just want to know, how much did you pay your lawyers to make all this go away? Almost 100000 Excuse me, son, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I said I paid almost $100,000. Exactly. And if you keep riding shotgun with Vic, you're gonna go broke. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Look, Vic is my friend, and I grew up with him. How many times I gotta tell you, sir? Freak, this is not a request. I am not asking you to do this. I am telling you to do this. And the first order of business is that Mr. Vic Van Leer is banned from traveling with you on the road. Vic is banned from the locker room. And Vic is banned from this arena. And if I catch this guy, Vic, in or anywhere near the facilities, Mr. Vic Van Leer will be arrested for trespassing. Couldn't we just have a conversation with Vic? I'm Stop getting so drunk. Brother. <laughs> no. Me and Vic were kids, playing summer tournaments at the Dome. Yeah, that seems racist, doesn't it? Did Spike Lee just like, all right, now make the white guy call him brother. <laughs> and say, the hood. Also, have him say, my N-word. <laughs> also, we're white. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but canonically, your character's supposed to be black. You're just albino. Oh. Remember? Because right. you come from a black family. Right. True. But we don't really know who our dad is, so like, I mean, well, it's 12 people, so like, technically we're, we're every race. We're Native American, Asian, black, white. We check all the boxes, really. Neanderthal. <laughs> that one really presented itself. <laughs> what is the, the glaring issue? Look at his mouth! <laughs> So me and Vic were sitting in those empty bleachers at the dome and dream like nobody's business. And now, and now I'm living a dream. For real. And in so many ways, Vic was part of that. Please, listen to me. I mean, I know this guy's your dude from way back. Look. <laughs> Me and Vic go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's, we go way back. Did you say, did you say front seats? Fr front seats of a 67 Cadillac. We go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. Well, do you have any crickets? <laughs> I'm gonna be the hit once again at Herbie Island, Sun Valley Shindig, because my fellow billionaires love it when I walk and talk that talk. So that <laughs> almost sounds... No, let me tell you exactly what it sounds like. I respect, admire, and most importantly, love you as a human being and a role model. But I pay you a lot. And I mean, I pay you a lot of money to play for my team. And I am in this game to win it. And you can't win it with an albatross around your neck like Vic. So Vic is done. History. And here's some more lingo that I picked up from a former megastar who used to play for me several seasons ago. Thought I would never release him until I did. And now he's the sixth man on a struggling team in Venice. And yeah, I'm talking Venice with the canals and the gondolas and Harry's Bar, not the street ballers next to the fortune tellers on the beach in Cali. This guy used to tell me when he thought there was a player destroying our team, don't be a hero, cut that zero. And that is what I am telling you about, Vic, freak. Don't be a hero, cut that zero. The only thing Vic brings into your life is headache and unwanted and unnecessary negative attention. And this is kind of uncomfortable. This is gnarly, actually. <laughs> Do you remember it being this No, serious? this is bizarre. Play, and when it affects your play, it's going to affect my team. And when it affects my team, it's going to affect my money. And if it affects my money, Google Translate will become your new freaking friend. I want a championship ring, freak, and I want you to help me get that ring. And banners after banners hanging from the Raptors in this arena. So, freak. Hear me clearly and hear me good. V, G, G, Vic, gotta 
Go! Did Spike Lee want everyone to be racist here? <laughs> like, even our guy's, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> and remember, that contract you signed contains a morality clause, a very important clause that revolves around your conduct on and off the court and how it can negatively impact my team. Hey, capitalize my team. There it is. That's what I wanted. To learn Italian or Croatian as a second language. And hey, playing pro ball overseas, there's nothing wrong with that. But the arenas are nothing like this, nor will the money be the same. And on top of all of that, this is the U.S. of A, the greatest freaking country in the world. This guy kind of reminds me of like Kevin Spacey as the villain in Advanced Warfare. <laughs> yeah, he like, does. Like, yeah. Why is he so over the top? Worth all that. I mean, like, I don't like Vic either. He sucks, but geez, I almost want to hang out with him out of spite. I know, this is a bit much. Well, it just kind of seems like this guy is not only kind of racist, but he's like a narcissist and is taking out his past trauma onto us. Yeah, it sounds and, like a lot of owners of professional sports teams, doesn't it? he's just being kind of an asshole. <laughs> Like, I would go home and, like, cry about it and then quit the team. Yeah, Freak's gonna cry. He actually is right now. I mean, he he has so much um, loyalty to me and to my family. You could see even Cece, you know, has uh, issues with him, but he's he still loves her. He still loves her. I didn't click it. I didn't click anything. What happened? I didn't click anything. I didn't touch anything. What? I mean, Accolade unlocked, total games played in my career. Let's see if we can upgrade real quick before we're done. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, you could just, the the team owner could have just said, you know, in a couple of minutes, you know, I, I don't think this is very good for your image. You know, your career might not go anywhere if you keep hanging around with this guy. So you should try to think about either cutting him off or have a conversation with him about, like, protecting your image because this is not looking good. And then he leaves, and he goes home, and he has a conversation with Vic, and he's like, Hey, Vic, can you stop going and getting drunk at bars and beating people up? Because it's, like, not looking good for my image, and I'm trying to be a celebrity here. And I want to, like, share this with you. And then Vic would be like, Okay, that sounds cool. And then they go about their day. No, we need to cut him out. Yeah, we do. We, oh, wait, hold on. Before you exit, I think you can do upgrades. So you go to player upgrades. Yeah. And then attribute upgrades. And then if you go, try doing jump shooter just twice. Go up twice. And then press X. Yes. Wait, how? Because you have you have seventeen hundred points. Oh, we have points I available. See. Okay. So we so can do upgrade you want a jump shooter. I think we should get our jump shot up. It's terrible. Okay. Right, what else? Uh, athlete. Yeah, we need more speed for sure. So you think athlete? Yeah. If you do, yeah, at least one for sure. What's playmaker? Defender. We need. Yeah, our defense is terrible. Because we're really bad. We have no level. What's moments. Playmaker, you said? Yeah, what is it? Uh, it looks like it ups passing accuracy, passing IQ, and ball control. We could use one of that. We could use ball control for sure. I would do the rest on shooting. Because we like to like shoot. jump shooter or yeah. inside scorer? Jump shooter. Should I do one here? Oh, do one of inside scorer, or yeah. Or two. I'd do one, and then... Because we like to shoot more than we like to do layups, I think. So if we do the rest... How many does that cost? Oh, I, I guess we just do one. one. But then I could do one... Let's, let's do rebounder, so we have a little bit here. A balance, yeah. Well, no, rebounding we doesn't can't. help us. I wouldn't do rebounding. Okay, but we could do playmaker. We could do athlete. I, I say athlete. Yeah, let's do athlete, yeah. Okay, good. That's perfect. So now now we upgraded a little bit. And we're, we're gonna 59 be, overall. We should have four overall points. The so next time we play, we should do a little better. A little bit better. Yeah. Can't be much worse. No, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but hey, at least like they're not cutting us from the team. They're only cutting us if we hang out with Vic Van Leer. <laughs> Dude, that owner was actually a bit weird. You know, that was yeah, uh, he was a crazy person. It was racist. It was a little bit racist. If we were black, that would be totally racist. It, and that guy was also a crazy person and like was kind of being a little bit threatening. It was the whole vibe, like you said at the beginning, is like, is he threatening us? He was threatening us like the whole time. He just yeah. seemed like a really bad person. I like when he's like in the front seat of a Cadillac. <laughs> well, how about this? They're gonna find your body in the trunk of a Cadillac, buried in the Grand Canyon, and Vic is going to be a charm corpse at the bottom of Golgotha. Do you know what that is? I don't know if you grew up in a Christian household. Golgotha is where Jesus was murdered. Have a nice day. 
It I, also he never mentioned like where Isadora <laughs> like how he died. You know, he just said he died. He killed him. He said they never found him. He he has, they yeah. never found him. So that I was just definitely a threat. It kind of seems like he killed him. He murdered his friend. Isn't this a game for kids? Like it's a basketball. Game. Yeah. <laughs> he murdered his friend and he's coming for us. 